Nike is one of my favorite brands. I mean, who doesn't love Nike? Just do it attitude. We all want to have it. Well, um, so I just happened to watch movie Air. How beautifully made it is. The movie talks about um, Sony Vaccaro and Nike's partnership with the rookie basketball player Michael Jordan and how this partnership turned around the sports industry as we know it and revolutionized Nike's faith. So uh, without further ado, let's dig deeper into what happened, how this uh, uh, marketing giant uh, succeeded uh, roping in the rookie player. So before we uh, jump into the details, let's set the stage right. I'll take you flash back to 1980s, uh, right before um, most of us were born. It's when Nike was coming out as a very strong player in the market and yet it was facing a lot of challenges from competitive brands like competition brands like Adidas. It realized that in order to stand uh, apart, they need uh, to be a challenger brand and they need a solid mascot who can help brand rise up. And as seen in the movie, of course, marketing budgets were tight. Um, at the same time, all the top brand players were also sought after by competition. So with limited budget, uh, Nike spotted this rising star and uh, in 1984, Nike uh, signs a deal with Michael Jordan for $500,000. That's a huge amount, you guys, especially we are talking about early 1980s. So that's a huge amount of money. With this staggering amount of deal, Nike made the right decision, actually, because that's the time when Michael Jordan was rising from rookie to a superstar. And uh, in 1985, Nike uh, launches Air, Air Jordan, uh, which is uh, after Michael Jordan, of course, as you would have seen in the movie. If you haven't seen, you should watch it. It is a one of a kind shoe. It is the first shoe which is launched in red color, uh, especially when red is a color has a ratio that you need to keep in in fact, NBA informed in a notorious letter to Nike that red and black usage, uh, the way they have done, is not permissible and they will be banned. Nike, in fact, took advantage of this advent and, in fact, uh, made it into a marketing uh, strategy uh, that they started paying for each game uh, Michael Jordan played. Uh, they started paying fine to NBA and that kind of even added to Nike's personality of a challenger brand. But the real breakthrough came in 1983, sorry, not 83, 1988, when Air Jordan 3 was launched, which was launched with new and advanced technology, and it was uh, uh, launched by Tinker Hatfield with a Jumpman logo that kind of became synonymous to Michael Jordan going forward. And as Michael Jordan's uh, career reaches new heights, Air Jordan became more and more popular, Nike gained more and more market share and Nike started to rise as a superstar just like Michael Jordan. I mean, how much successful a line of shoe can be? In 1993, Air Jordan itself started to garner 200, um, 200 million dollars in revenue. That's huge, you guys. So yes, that became as popular as as it can get, and uh, and it doesn't stop there. Nike continues to launch their uh, newest versions, Air Jordan 10, 11, 12. I have my friends, colleagues who collect the series, who love the series, and it is a global phenomena, and it has led to great success for Nike. While yes, Michael Jordan contributed to huge success of Nike. We shouldn't discredit the marketing uh, of Nike in, in its totality. My, Nike has a very, very strong, athletic, challenger brand personality. And by uh, showcasing authentic and real stories, um, Nike creates a very close connection with its customer, making them feel part of something much bigger than themselves. 
and that's something very unique about Nike. And apart from that, from this uh, uh, Michael Jordan times, Nike has figured uh, that there is a merit in tying up with influential athletes like Michael Jordan, uh, Serena Williams, Cristiano Ronaldo and many many more. So yes, that's something that works in favour of Nike's marketing. If I have to talk about one campaign, I think uh, there are many campaigns that I really love but Dream Crazy by Colin uh, Copernicus is one of my favourites. I have written about it on Quora in the past as well. That answer actually kind of had gone viral where most people said that this kind of backfired for Nike and people started burning Nike shoe on social media etc. But then eventually news came out that actually the target audience of Nike really appreciated Nike coming out and uh, participating in, uh, in uh, favor of black people and black lives matters and that kind of helped Nike grow in sales. Maybe some other day we will talk about uh, some other successful campaigns like Ride the Future, The Switch etc because Nike has just so many good campaigns that we can't cover everything in just one video. Yeah, so that's all for now. So what's, uh, I would like to know what's one thing or what are some things that you really love about Nike. I really love the personality that Nike brings in, the just do it attitude, the campaigns are just so thought through. Uh, and it has such a go-getter attitude so that's something I really love about Nike what is it that sparks you up when it comes to Nike do comment and let me know do let me know if you want to want me to make videos on certain specific brands I have made videos on Somato uh, uh, SDFC and many other brands as well so do go and check it out see you in the next video